you all for uh, coming out. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, good ball game last week by our guys. I thought offensively we did a super job running the football. It's one of the best totals we've had, and we needed to do that. Uh, great job controlling the clock. We had the ball for 11 minutes and seven seconds in the fourth quarter and really dominated the time of possession. And then defensively nowadays, you hold anybody to, you know, 13 points. You've done a heck of a job. Uh, so uh, great road win. Uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, we're, you know, had a, had a great workout yesterday, another one, good one today, and turning all our thoughts and energy toward uh, UCF. Anybody have any questions? How was Spears, Coach? Great. Awesome. <laughs> Looks like he was a little ginger today. So. Yeah, he uh, came back out uh, and played, you know, and he'll be fine. He'll be great. Well, they're they're very very talented across the board, offense, defense, kicking game, play extremely hard, well coached. Uh, you know, one of the most talented teams in our conference uh, for sure. Uh, big guys that can move up front. Uh, you know, so uh, yeah, they've done a very good job recruiting over the years. You got Iverson Celestine back last week. Just how much of a boost does that give you to the running game? Well, it gives us three guys that will play a bunch. You know, Tajay and Shadi who went over 100 yards last week as well, and then uh, Iverson, he's full speed also, and I think he had 12 carries, and I think Tajay and uh, uh, Shadi had 14 carries maybe, 14 or 15. So we spread the ball out between the three of them. And that's what you got to do if you're going to run the ball effectively. The, the days they have one back carrying it 35 times, are, uh, they're gone. You know, so it's, uh, it's good to share the, the carries. How much does that help you? You can lead all the guys. <laughs> And it helps you a bunch, and then you got to run the quarterback enough, or you know they got to respect that. And you're playing 11 on 11 football when you do it. And I thought Mike did a really good job of pulling the ball a few times, finding the soft spot, and getting down, and not taking taking needless hits. What were your impressions of Jarius in his first start? I mean, obviously he already did, did an awesome job. I think he played a whole lot for us all season, but he was one of our players of the week. He did a play nice, had an outstanding game. Well, he practices real hard. He's got great enthusiasm and energy, and you know he brings that every single day. And uh, you know, so he, he's uh, probably had that forever. Just guessing the way he acts. You know, when I see him, see him on campus. He's in a good mood. You know, so you mentioned this great. His his energy is all positive. Like he, that's the type of energy. Yeah, it's what you're looking for. You know, you, you want to say words that have meaning instead of just talking. You know, some guys talk all the time, but he says things that actually mean something. Based on your experience as a coach, having somebody like Michael, who's now a three-year starter and quarterback, how much of a difference does it make in terms of what you're able to do, the kind of leadership you get from that position, everything they've seen, and maybe that extra step it allows you to take as a team as opposed to when you're playing a first-year starter? <coughs> well, he, there's, there's not much he hasn't seen. And then, you know, in some regards, it's a negative, but in other regards, it's a positive. He's had three different offensive coordinators. So he's been in a lot of systems. He's sort of explained to him a lot of different ways. And uh, he just he's a smart kid, and he's able, able to decipher it and understand exactly what's going on. So uh, he's an awesome student, but he's also got a lot of football intelligence. Is there somebody comparative through your career that you could relate to? Somebody oh, maybe Brian Bell. Kid that's was a four-year starter for me, Sam Houston State, who's coaching at Baylor now. You know, he was uh, his dad was his high school coach, and he's raised in it. So he just he also he tell him something once, and he he understood it and did a great job with it. Coach, can you talk about that slogan on your chest, especially like I mean, watching football games today, even one last night where everybody thought the runner was out of bounds, he kept going and ended up scoring. You know, even if it's not a win. Yeah, you just gotta you gotta play through the whistle. You know, we we talk about that effort. You know, everybody plays hard on plays towards them. Do you play hard on plays away? And not very many people do across the board. It doesn't matter what level you're talking about. Uh, so we just try to get our guys indoctrinated to play through the whistle every single down, and that'll give us the effort that we need. And 
you know, that, that you don't know that guy's going to make the tackle or not. You don't know if that guy's going to fumble it or not, and you can recover the fumble. You know, you don't know if you're going to spring the key block. You know, so, irregardless whether it's offense, defense, kicking game, play through the whistle. Is it anything special about playing it, these two teams down the stretch that are leaving the league? Any, any, anything about that? that I don't. I don't think so. You know, just quality opponent is uh, the main thing. Is is uh, you know, uh, UCF's you know, they've, they've done a great job recruiting, and you know, I'm, I'm looking at the transfers they brought in. They've brought in some high-level transfers, also. You know, so uh, uh, you know, Coach Miles on obviously he's done a great job every place he's been at. Willie, did you take part in? Trying to lure college game day here? No, I didn't. Did, did you think this game was worthy of that stage? Yes, I did. But you know, it didn't happen, so you just got to move on. I was really proud of our guys. We we got a, a flight delay Friday, you know, and we, we left uh, I don't know five hours later than we were supposed to get. We could just got in, went to bed basically, and I didn't hear one person say a peep about it, you know, and, and uh, so. Uh, you know, we just got to worry about, you know, 2.30 out here playing the Golden Knights. As much as coaches, I, I know, don't like distractions, to what extent would you say it's maybe an obligation of yours to embrace some of the buildup to this game um, you know, uh, for the program to generate enthusiasm to, or to capitalize on oh. enthusiasm? You mean try, trying to hype up the game? Not necessarily so, hype up the game, but, but be willing to talk about it without worrying that you're going to get your players off the, off focus. No, <laughs> I, I just think it's you know it's my job to try to have our guys as prepared as they can possibly be, you know, and, and uh, talking about what ifs and this that and the other thing. I, I kind of leave that to other people to do, and and not worry about that, you know. So. I, I probably don't do a very good job of that. Okay. <laughs> so you, you would want to acknowledge how, how gratifying it might be to be the coach that has this team playing in a very, again, it's been kind of rare in the last, at least on campus, oh, I think seven years. I think those guys know that. I think they understand that. I, I think they read the paper and and they're involved with Twitter a little bit. Unfortunately, I am too, so I read it <laughs> as well. I have to do with recruiting. But uh, uh, yeah, I think they understand that. But, uh, you know, we just want to want to go one and zero. Really, though, it's, it it is it is good for the program, though, right? I mean, you go to national TV. Can you take oh, yeah. advantage of this recruiting wise? And oh yeah, big time. We our our last game that we had, we had a huge recruiting day. I had a bunch of kids here. It's great for them to see a packed house and, and and the wave winning. And you know, it'll be the same thing this weekend. Yeah, are these you, are. Are good. you doing more media now? I mean, you're getting more demands yes. on you. Well, you know, I, I, th that's not really me, you know, but uh, uh, I, I know that's part of my job. This is what I get paid for right here. <laughs> that stuff I just got done doing out there, I do that for free. <laughs> paid for all the other stuff. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I, uh, uh, I, I know that, uh, you know, we want to be a nationally known program. That's been our goal since we've been here, you know, and we've, we've, I mean, we played a lot of games on national TV, and we've had some good outcomes and some bad outcomes, and and uh, so uh, we we do want you know to to be that type of program. That is one of our goals, obviously. And you want this place full of this. Yeah, I, I just you know I've said it a million times. I think you, the people who came, I, I, and I had a bunch of people email me after the game that I didn't know that told me about how great of a stadium this is and how. What, a, what an awesome game it was! I hadn't been to a game here before, and, and yeah, I think I think it sells itself. This is, uh, you know, I, I don't get to go over very many games, but sometimes I go to games in big venues, and you can't really see what's going on. This is, you can probably hear me yelling on the sideline. I don't know, but it's, uh, I think it's a great place to watch a game. I got a chance to come out here last week and watch a high school game, you know, and it was set up in the top, you know, so it was. It was Great, great sidelines. Coach, on that note, just simply put, I guess, because high school playoffs are starting with, yeah, 
how, how impressed have you been with, with players that live and go to school, you know, just five, ten miles? Oh, it's great football. You know, I knew that before I came to Tulane. Uh, but I, I, I've certainly got a deeper appreciation for the uh, coaches and the players that come out of this area. It's outstanding. You know, the, our bye week, I probably went to, I don't know, five practices in two different games. And, uh, you know, very well coached. Uh, excellent players. we got a lot of them on our team. Hopefully we get more. all the talent around here and you think about how a college player and students values change maybe as they get older and maybe what looks really good seem awesome to them as an 18 year old recruit isn't as important anymore does that give you an interesting opportunity to well, we might have a few of those guys that are here playing for us now you know they one of the guys told me this stadium never got bigger or different you know after his recruiting visit you know he was there for a few years and then came back and Basically, I guess saying to me that he went there because of facilities, but uh, you know, I, I'm not in favor of the, the transfer stuff. You know, it's just part of the game. You got to, you know, you got to understand it. And there, there are some instances that I think it is a positive for uh, some kids, but uh, you know, but that's the world we live in right now. And you know, I've got to adapt to it. And players have adapted to it, and you know, so we're gonna find guys that we think can help us and fit our model, what we're, we're looking for in a, in a student athlete. You, you talked about it before, but the fact that you had almost nobody leave the program after last year, what do you think that said about? Well, I think we've got a very good culture here. And we, we you know, my coaches are, do a fabulous job of being role models and mentors to our student athletes. And, uh, you know, we're, we're coaching and teaching right from wrong every single day. You know, it's uh, part of our job. And, uh, you know, the best compliment I got was the other day we were walking off the field and the whole chain crew from Tulsa grabbed me and said, you know, Coach, we haven't had a team that behaved like that. You know, you've, you've got great young men in your program. That meant as much to me as a victory. You know, so uh, uh, that's one of the reasons why I think we haven't had very many kids leave. Pretty good?